What I love about the 1970s movies is that a lot happens and yet nothing happens at all. Doctor Strange works in the psychiatric ward instead of as a surgeon. Weird switch? Not when you have the nameless one sending out Morgan Le Fay, played by the eternal force of attraction Jessica Walters. Her task? Find the Sorcerer Supreme and kill him so that the nameless one can return to Earth. Morgan finds him but knows she cannot harm him here so she takes over the mind of Cleo Lake and makes her push him off of a bridge into oncoming traffic. He walks away with a funky hip and heals himself in an alley. Clea does not notice this part, and of course is traumatized, and ends up in the psych ward. So Morgan continues to go after her and Doctor Strange, who is the chosen one to take over for the Sorcerer Supreme. Litmer and Strange meet. Litmer teaches him magic and how to save the girl, only to need saving himself later. Morgan tries to seduce Strange, but it doesn't work, and he defeats her as he is now more powerful, and saves Litmer, and becomes the new Sorcerer Supreme. The movie ends with Strange using real magic to troll a street magician. Because why not?